Okay, one of the harder things to do in Photoshop is to uh, crop out a person um, that has a lot of kind of frizzy or uh, wild hair. Um, maybe you want to crop them out of one picture and put them into another picture. And so today we're going to walk you through an easy way to do that. Okay, so we're going to start off um, with this lady here. She looks like she's had a pretty rough day. And uh, we want to be kind to her and we're going to put her in the mountains. So we're going to go from here to here. You'll notice that I have my background over here and I have my working layer that I'm going to be working on, uh, which is the original picture. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to make sure that I'm on the layer that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and get the quick select tool. And I'm going to make a real quick, just rough selection of her. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. So now that we have her uh, selected and uh, just kind of a rough outline, we're going to go down here to this little button. And this is our um, layer mask tool. So we want to add a layer mask to this. And just instantly, um, we take her out of whatever poor environment she was and put her in the mountains. Now, from here, um, you're going to notice that the quick selection tool leaves a lot to be desired um, because there's a lot of missing hair on the outside. So the next step is going to be to take that layer mask and we're going to right click on it and do refine mask and this is where all the magic um, happens with this um, with this particular tool. Okay so in the view mode we're going to go up here and we're going to see that there's some options. Um, these are basically different options to show you what it, what she would look like if you were using a dark background or an overlay background or a white background. With black you can see very clearly all the little details of white that are inside um, the hair that should be transparent. But what we're going to mainly be dealing with is we're going to mainly look at um, these bottom two. So the on layers which is uh, shows her actually on the layer that we're working on on the background and then the reveal layer which is the original picture. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start here in the reveal layer. I'm just going to click off to the side of it to get that to go away. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to go ahead and grab um, the refine radius tool. And this is kind of like a, a, an add radius if you will. And so you'll see a little plus sign. And we want to set it to something that, that will work nice for us. I'm going to set it to 60 and what I'm looking at is I'm going to be drawing in uh, just roughly the outsides of, of these hairs. So I want to make sure that um, the tool that I'm using is a little bigger um, than kind of the hairs that I'm going to be drawing in. Okay, so let's just go ahead and draw in and we can start to see uh, this thing take shape. Okay, so this is the original layer. I'm going to start drawing in these little bitty hairs on the outside. This does not have to be perfect at all. Okay, it did its little calculation. Now let's go back and look. And you see, we just we're already getting a pretty good look. So let's just keep going. We're gonna draw the outsides, all these little wild hairs that are sticking up. They don't have to get all of them. Just as just a nice little selection of them. Okay, and then we get these these hairs on the outside here. Keep coming down. These hairs out here. Okay. Let's see how that looks. And we'll go up and look at her on the layer. Okay, so we're starting to get a lot better look going on. Now we know that there's hair in here. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to keep it on the background there. I'm just going to kind of draw in here to get a little bit better. Uh, sampling of the hairs. And every time I do it, it gets a little more refined and a little more refined for me. Again, you just have to you have to spend some time on it, but it's not it's not really that uh, that difficult. And I want to get these these parts in here that should be uh, transparent. Let's go over them just a little bit more. Now, over here we have this big portion, so we want to go ahead and uh, what we're noticing here is uh, she has highlights in her hair. That's what the deal is. So we want to add that in just a little bit. 
Okay. Now, that's a pretty good look. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to uh, start uh, messing with the settings. So I'm going to do um, edge detection and I'm going to increase it just a little bit. And you can see as you do that, you get a little bit better picture on these outside hairs and a little bit better in there. Now to get rid of these insides, you, you, we're going to have to shrink it down a little bit. Um, so what we want to do is we want to do a shift edge and if we do that just a little bit and shrink it, there we go, that looks a little bit more natural. Just a little bit. And we can use the contrast a little bit to give us a little sharper, uh, more natural, more natural look. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll go back up here to the view. Say this is what it looks like before. This is what it looks like when she's in the mountains and that looks pretty good. Say okay. Alright, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.